Decades after dying in combat on the battlefield in France during World War II, a local army veteran's remains are finally back home. And today, his family and friends were finally able to celebrate his life and sacrifice with full military honors in his hometown. Brandon Simmons explains how DNA testing helped make this day possible. Sanford Keith Bowen was living a good life back in the 1940s before being called on by his country to help fight in World War II. He was going to college. He had a great job. He just got married and his draft number came up like so many other men back then and he went. He was drafted in 1942 and in 1945 Bowen died on the battlefields of France at age 26 leaving behind the love of his life, Jenny, and a two-month-old son whom he never got a chance to meet. He was proud to serve, um, and he gave up everything. So we, we are free, so we can live our lives in America. And, and that, that is what so many people I don't think really think about today. His body was initially unrecoverable and remained unidentified for the next 77 years. Just a few months ago, DNA technology helped bring Bowen's remains back home. Connie Clark Jones is Bowen's 90 year old niece, the only surviving person to have met him. Uncle Keith was absolutely fantastic. He was just such a gentle and warm person and he adored us as children, my brother Bill and I. And today was like a family reunion of sorts. Relatives finally able to give Bowen the home going service he deserved in Ashland, his hometown. And I think today the circle is complete in eternity. Private First Class Bowen was celebrated with full military honors, highlighting his sacrifice in the war with recognition and medals, including the Purple Heart. Following the services, Bowen was taken to Mount Hope Cemetery in Shiloh, his final resting place next to his wife and son. 77 years later, his granddaughter sharing a loving message in poem. Welcome home, my precious son, welcome home. I'm Brandon Simmons, 3 News.